Alex is a computer science student. As you can see, he's currently reading through a computer vision textbook on his MacBook. Although this textbook was originally written without any hyperlinks, as most books are, a number of links crafted by a third party are displayed on its digital pages. In this case, the links are both subtly highlighted in grey, and have corresponding marks on the left hand side of the window. This region on the left is called the marker bar, and it exists to show information about things that are currently in view. Here, interaction opportunities, including those that may be inconvenient to highlight in line. Alex decides that he wants to know more about JPEG compression, and so clicks a link in the textbook. As a result, a new window opens showing the linked resource. This window happens to belong to a different program, but still has links and a marker bar of its own. Note that these links are shown with blue marks in the marker bar, which indicates that the links came with the document. Skimming over the page, Alex clicks on an internal link within the document, taking him to a section which elaborates on some of the details of JPEG compression. Reading this, he decides that he doesn't recall enough about the Fourier transform to really appreciate what's going on here, and thus clicks a link to find out more. As a result, once again, a new window opens showing the linked resource. Aware that dense, confusing mathematics is right around the corner, Alex decides that he wants to see a new perspective on this information to help him out. To do this, he clicks on the Perspectives icon in his menu bar. A perspective is simply a set of links between resources. In Alex's list of recently viewed perspectives shown here, we can see that the gold marked links we've seen so far have been from a perspective crafted to guide the user through image processing concepts. Keeping these around, Alex additionally enables a set of links that have been made especially to point towards helpful mathematical explanations. In doing so, new links are displayed on all relevant open resources, this time with green marks. Looking over the marker bar, Alex notices a green marked link that might help him in better understanding the Fourier transform. Clicking this, the new resource appears in a new window. This time it's a video, which Alex proceeds to watch. This right here is what we're going to build to this video. A certain animated approach to thinking about a super important idea from math, the Fourier transform. For anyone unfamiliar with what that is. Let's just get a quick glimpse of one context where this thing is useful, sound editing. Let's say that you have some recording, and it's got an annoying high pitch that you would like to filter out. Well, at first, your signal is coming in as a function of various intensities over time, different voltages given to your speaker from one millisecond to the next. But we want to think of this in terms of frequencies. So, when you take the Fourier transform of that signal, the annoying high pitch is going to show up just as a spike at some high frequency. Filtering that out by... As indicated in the marker bar within QuickTime, the perspective that Alex enabled includes a link at a certain time and place in the video. To avoid obscuring the video, no inline highlighting has been applied automatically. This link is only being shown in the marker bar. Having noticed this interaction opportunity, Alex has paused the video and hovers over the corresponding mark to see the specific link location. It looks like the link relates to the filtering of noise from a signal through the frequency domain. Curious, Alex clicks the mark to pin the link highlighting in place and then follows the link to see where it leads. The linked resource is a MATLAB project to demonstrate the removal of high frequency noise from a signal using the discrete Fourier transform. Alex runs the project and proceeds to read through the code. Comfortable enough with a general idea of the Fourier transform for the time being, Alex wishes to reverse back through his chain of inquiry to the original JPEG Wikipedia article. To do this, Alex clicks on the History menu bar icon, and then selects the previously visited resource to go back to. Refamiliarizing himself with how all this relates back to JPEG, he clicks a link to explore how the discrete Fourier transform is related to the discrete cosine transform used in JPEG compression. Studying this, Alex feels a flash of insight. Though he'd encountered difficulty in trying to understand the differences between the two transformations in the past, the relationship between the two suddenly feels crystal clear to him. To remember this connection, Alex wishes to create a new link to the information he found so helpful from his textbook to be stored in his local perspective on the topic. To do this, he simply selects the desired source of the link, and then clicks and drags while holding down a key combination, and the link is created. Content with the discrete cosine transform for now, Alex once again navigates back to the Wikipedia article on JPEG compression. Looking for a more concrete understanding of how these concepts are applied in JPEG, he clicks yet another link, opening another document. 
He glances at this and decides to keep it open for later reference, switching back to the Wikipedia article for now. Continuing his search for a better understanding, Alex then follows another internal link within the Wikipedia page and notices a quantization matrix that is supposedly specified within the JPEG standard. Curious as to why the matrix is defined with these specific numeric values, he enables another perspective. This time a community maintained perspective to direct users to and guide users around software standards documents. Enabling this perspective, new links appear, this time marked in grey. Noticing an interaction opportunity around the quantization matrix he's interested in, Alex pins and follows this link as before. In doing so, he finds that it leads to the relevant portion of a JPEG standards document, from which his search can continue. 